<clears throat> Hello and welcome to Kerala Gram Market, our daily program on Nifty Bank Nifty and USDNR. Tough, tough day today. What we predicted did not happen. Uh, I mean, in a way, yes, in a way, no, because we thought the market will bounce. The market did indeed bounce, but what happened next, we were not prepared for. But look at the, I mean, there's no bright side to this really if you were long, but market, we did draw two lines, which were support zones, which was here and we can see clearly that today market tested the 18500 resistance <coughs> hit there and came back so this was indeed a hammer the, it indeed gave a positive close if the close of this uh today was above this tiny hammer then it would have been a bull trend but it did not happen at 18500 it tested came back and closed below the hammer now there are two problems this hammer is invalidated two this is a very big bearish engulfing agreed there is a small support here 50 dma but from the looks of it it doesn't look like it will hold so right now nifty charts is looking extremely bearish at least it's good for another 200 points and if you look at <coughs> weekly charts there is a formation of a looks like there's a shooting star forming but we are only on Wednesday so let's not get ahead of ourselves bank nifty again forming so this we had talked about we had said that bank nifty is below the middle of this channel and it is trending down and uh bank nifty is uh forming a bearish engulfing again so bearish engulfing on nifty bearish engulfing on bank nifty let's see what the open interest charts have to say no hope um one second i'll just see if everything is working correctly from the user comments before i go further uh 18300 again now huh? what do you mean by 18300 again 18300 tomorrow okay tomorrow is an important day you put sensible should get biometric login on phones we do have that on some of our brokers yeah but anyway so let's go back so bank nifty has a bearish engulfing and it looks like it can go at least till the bottom of the channel which is somewhere around 42,000 levels right uh that's another one and a half percent down uh now <clears throat> everybody sold calls today and 18300 may there was a huge resistance sorry support for uh nifty uh that went away suddenly six million puts unmount that's a lot and if you look at the color of i mean the tone of the option chain yesterday it was looking like a super bullish option chain today it is looking like a super bearish option chain. it's completely turned around 0 0.9 was the pcr yesterday 0 0.5 is the pcr today and look at this right this is a cluster of calls with no respite at least till 18,000. so the first support zone is coming at 80,000. <clears throat> option chain looks pretty dark right dark if you're uh, long uh, of course very bright if you're short uh, so option chain is also bad I mean, depending on your side, I, I should be saying good or bad. Uh, there are two times as many puts as calls now. You can see the gap between red and green has increased. Red is dominating now. And that's because <clears throat> FII sold 20,000 plus calls today and bought almost 50,000 puts today. 500 crores in index, short 1,000 crores in stocks. Everything is negative, right? So basically, chart is negative. Option chain is negative. PCR is negative. FI option data is negative. Option, FI futures data is negative. FI stock data is negative. Ideally, you should have been short at today's close. But if you <clears throat> ask me by any chance, if you get uh, up ticks tomorrow, it's a nice opportunity to short on up sticks till the target of at least 18,000, right? So till 18,000, it might make sense to uh, sell on up ticks. Uh, and my favorite trade would be calls because there's a decent IV now. So I can sell like, so I am short 18,400 calls. I mean, I'm, I guess you guys, guys must be knowing that because, uh, hey, very, what is verified sensible for, right? So <clears throat> Kushant is asking, YOLO CE tomorrow, not buy CE, sell CE. Uh, uh, COVID news impact here. News and all, I don't know. I'm, I don't think it's about news. <clears throat> uh once again please add time to pull down option time slider is difficult okay we'll do that somebody said 8500 and then fall yeah yeah fintwit digen and uh, anirpan i think said that 80500 and fall they both were right yesterday's analysis somebody is asking check dow your check kar lete yaar dow us pe kya hai chal dj aaiye kya hai dow dow is up 2 percent kya baat hai okay s and p 500 is up a person and a half okay interesting now sgx nifty is 
1800 again matlab okay okay interesting uh, i mean it's wow okay here yeah, that i don't know but uh, tomorrow if i get an uptick i will look to sell for the simple reason that uh, on uh, daily charts nifty is forming uh, a very unpleasant bearish and nifty and it is below the support of this hammer so if nifty is unable to close above this hammer it is going to be negative and i would say i would be negative till at least 80000 because the channel bottom right uh, potentially uh, i don't want to go long into this market because any uptick will be used by sellers to sell at least for target of 80000 <clears throat> so i'm going to pass but just to be sure right let's also look at nifty futures charts so nifty futures chart has already touched 18000 uh, this uh, 50 dma but it can go all the way to 100 dma which is somewhere around 17972 i mean yeah i mean 80000 roughly right what are we doing splitting hairs here so so yeah i mean i don't want to be long this market simply because um today's fi has been selling futures fi has been selling options fi has been selling stock open interest has not been supporting every uptick is being sold into and candle is also looking bad i'll also introduce to to one more interesting thing right i mean this is not the end of the month it's too early to say that but this is nifty's monthly candle and and this is a piercing candle right this is a bearish piercing so if nifty closes anywhere near 18 200 300 400 500 etc then nifty will have a bearish piercing candle on uh, monthlies it does not usually that does not end well but i still think nifty will have solid support at 18000 i'm not saying that short to you know 17000 or 17600 or 16000 or something all i'm saying is that right now is not the time to buy i'll probably think of looking at the price action at 18000 so it's it so okay a couple of things one now if there's an uptick it is better to sell for a target of 18000 if 18000 comes don't buy thinking that waha pe support hai if there is a support there will be support and you will see price action so there will be candles forming there will be open interest forming if at 18000 i see favorable candles favorable open interest etc i might look to long at 18000 but till there is price action there is no reversal please don't jump to buying um uh, thinking that support will act right supports break so all i am saying is 18000 will be tested may be tested very high probability of testing but will it reverse from 18000 or not we don't know we'll see the price action there and take a call right so as of now i am going to wait and watch and probably going to play till 18000 using calls right finally going to dollar the dollar this time is easier yesterday we had uh, given a buy call on dollar simply because it is uh, breaking the swing highs and all in fact I, if you look at my verified pnl you can see that i have some dollar i have a put spread and some small quantity dollar uh, in futures long so dollar seems to be going up and if this high is broken which is around 82 80 82 90 zone then it can go further up maybe even i mean eventually it can even reach 85 right who knows so because if you look at dollar in general it is forming higher highs and higher lows and the recent swing high is broken and if you look at weekly candle of dollar this is a bullish engulfing followed by a confirmation followed by continuation so i am expecting dollar to go up further right so basically long story short i'm going to not long nifty i'm going to see if it goes to 18000 i'm going to be long dollar uh, so short bank nifty short nifty long dollar is what i am thinking right yeah. avanish yesterday i think said that uh, sell on uptick fintwit digen karke there is a person he also said sell on uptick so full points to both of you as if my giving points matters but <laughs> but very well done i hope you guys made money on that today so this is our analysis for today we'll see you again tomorrow as usual this is not uh, you know tips or uh, advice or whatever that is that people sell right so this is just analysis so that you can also analyze this using the same tools tomorrow around 3 20 3 30 and take your call for uh, 
uh, <clears throat> for uh, Monday, right? So on that note, we'll see uh, for, for Friday. So we'll see you again on um, tomorrow with uh, post-expiry analysis. Till then, as usual, take care and keep your capital safe. Bye.